Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap I do an aluminium repair on a little electric scooter. I also make an aluminium bracket for a friend. Uh, the new camera's come. I'm actually running the new camera now to do this introduction. Uh, and I have a look across the Tanfield Railway just to get a little bit of footage of some of the trains, or at least the one train that was running, basically to see how the camera is working. Um, I don't quite know how I'm going to upload it, and it'll be either 4K or in super high definition. I'll just see what happens when I come to, to upload it. The Stuart Turner engine's coming on quite well. I've got a bit more done. The, the governor side of it's nearly finished. Uh, there is some video on the Patreon channel of that, and I'm going to put some more Stuart Turner video up tomorrow night. The Patreon channel is going quite well. There's a link in the introduction box if you want to have a look. If you want to support me on Patreon, by all means, please do so. I've got a frame here of one of those horrible little electric scooters and the lads actually managed to crash it and break the headstock off clean through so I've got the welders back together but it's no good just simply putting a weld on there because it'll be a weak point I've got some aluminium tube so I think what I'll do is I'll obviously weld that on and I'll make some fillet plates to go around the sides Leave the top and bottom open, but just put fillet plates around the sides. And obviously, I've got to put those holes in there, some wires go through there. Bit of aluminium tube there, slightly heavier wall. And obviously, that's oval and that's round, so it can squash that. Get it somewhere near the shape. And then make some nice fillet pieces for it. The first thing will be to try and grind off the coating or sand the coating off. So we can get down to some nice clean material. And then we'll go from there. So we'll give this a little bit of a squash just to get it somewhere near the same sort of same sort of size. I'm gonna to have to play around with it anyway to get it the way I want it. on either side it's just about there in there so the next thing is to weld this back together as best I can and then I'm going to reinforce it So that's welded up quite nicely. It is decent material, which is one thing. Now for some reinforcing plates. 
I'm going to make a cardboard template because cardboard's easy to cut with a pair of scissors. It's still warm, this bastard. I'm going to go into the into their weld. Ah, that's warm. That's not bad there. I'll do my starters, we'll cut a piece of that shape a little bit off here. Do for a start. Right, basically that's the shape we're going to cut out. Okay, carefully if we do it, then I'm going to grab it and finish it off with a, a fail. Take shape not too badly. That's reasonable around there. Obviously, I can put a I can put a weld in, I can fill them little gaps in. But on the back end here, you do just cut it straight, put a little radius on or rounded corners. You do just weld all the way around there because that'll cause a weak spot. I'm not gonna weld the top in the bottom tubes, they're gonna be left open. But it's a little bit more filing, a little bit more work, and that's gonna be quite a nice fit on there. I'll tack this one on, then drill that hole through from the back. Then the other one that I can put a nut and bolt through there to hold them in place. And then we can weld round it. I'll bring the camera in and hopefully get some decent arc shots of it being welded. We'll cut this back bit out. I've already drawn it the sort of shape I want on it. If you put wax on those very sanding disc, you can put aluminium, not too bad. It's 
so that's not looking too bad now it's a reasonable fit I've put a good tack on there put a clamp on there which uh, I'm quite happy with that I'll give it all a wash but that's a turn before I start the weld just to make sure I've no grease on there but it should it should weld nicely Well, it's not too bad. There was some shape pulled through. Uh, some bits are really good, other bits are terrible. But it certainly isn't going to go anywhere. I put a middle cutter in there or a die grinder. We open that slot out and then we'll get the iron welded on. What it wants is some WD 40 on there, but I don't want to do that until I've finished welding. Uh, so I'll leave that because I can spot through them two holes on the other side and then put the slots in later on. I'm trying to use a cut as dry, it blocks a cut as straight up in the WB40, it really does help. And that's it well together and the two slots cut in. It's not my best job, but it certainly isn't going to fall off. Not quite sure what was happening. Some of it welded nice. Other bits that was shaped by a lot of it. Uh, well, it's nice, it's really nice. 